All right, in this video, we are going to learn the difference between run and the and the open command in Cypress. So let's go ahead and try to understand this. Hello, geeks. This is Young Media. Welcome back. And please subscribe if you want to keep learning about automation and technology. So let's go ahead and try to understand this simple but interesting concept. All right. Cypress run versus Cypress open. So basically, if you remember the first video that I have made, all right. I just created this script, Cypress open. What is gonna do this command? If you remember correctly, if I uh, copy this command name and then uh, enter npn run and the command name or the script name, I'm sorry, it is gonna open up the uh, test runner, uh, right? Which is this, um, well, actually, window which uh, where we can specify which um, script I want to execute. For example, if I want to execute the retryability.spec.js file, I just have to click here. And also we have the possibility to look for different web browsers. So for example, if I click on Google Chrome and I click in this JS file, it is going to execute my script and it is going to validate if my test scenario is working as expected, right? Uh, well, that's basically the test runner. Um, a, a, a very uh, quick overview about the test runner, right? And that's basically what the um, Cypress open command does. However, we have another command, which is Cypress run. So let's go ahead and try to understand what is the difference. For example, if I uh, place a comma here and create another command, Cypress run default. If I come here and um, enter this command, Cypress run, we're gonna have an execution of all my specs, all right? The, all the specs that I have under the integration folder using the Electron uh, web browser uh, in headless mode. That's the, the configuration that we have uh, by default when I want to, for example, uh, execute this command. And let me just actually um, give you this example. If I just cancel the execution of the test runner, all right, I clear the console and I, uh, I'm gonna actually um, run this command, uh, npm run, and the new Cypress script that I have created. I'm sorry. Uh, let me see what is happening. I just copy, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna run this command. As you can see right now, well, it is gonna be executing all the, um, well, as you can see here, it is gonna be executing all the scripts. We have right now 23 scripts under the integration folder and it is executing all of them in the Electron 83 uh, browser. So, um, as you can see right now, it is being executed. All the test cases are happening and actually passing, but we are not watching anything in the in the in the web and actually in any web browser, right? So, what is happening? As as you can see in this detail, it is saying that the execution is being headless. So let's let's understand what is a headless definition, right? I have this uh, headless browser article in the Wikipedia. And it is saying the definition, basically a headless browser is a web browser without a graphical user interface. So uh, the headless browsers provide automated control of a web page in an environment similar to popular web browser. They, they are executed by command line interface or using a network communication. So um, that's basically what is happening. We that right now the, the scripts and the test cases are being executed headless. We cannot see the um, the UI, but they are being executed correctly using the Electron headless mode. And just to prove you that this is working fine, I'm just gonna uh, cancel this execution. You can go ahead and take a look of the um, project and you will see that inside of the videos uh, folder and examples, you will see that we have different videos here. And basically, as you can see here, all well, the scripts are being executed. We cannot see that, but they are being executed using the headless mode. All right, that's good. Just give me, just let me give you another um, detail here, which is that we have a list of headless browsers right now. For example, we can run the headless mode in Google Chrome, Firefox, Phantom JS, HTML Unit, uh, and and some of them that uh, that you can read over here. 
um, we have different simulated browsers but I think that the most common ones right which is Google Chrome or Firefox have headless mode that's that's something good so let's continue with the example for example um, if I come here to the script again and let's say that I want only to uh, execute this script the retriability spec.js how I can do that let me give you this um, this example let me just keep let me review my notes right because I <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do here is um, well use this parameter which is specs spec I'm sorry so after we specify the parameter spec it is gonna be waiting for a path um, so it is gonna look for a specific uh, files under a path to being to be to actually execute the scripts under that path so for example in this case i want to execute retriability.spec.js and it is under cypress integration retriability folder and the file itself right so if i come here and specify this retriability.spec.js you will see that I'm currently pointing to this file. However, I have to specify the, the path. In this case, I have to specify Cypress, then integration, then retriability folder, and then the file itself. And that's how you can run in headless mode and using the Electron by default um, browser. So let me just give you the example. I'm just I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna select this command and then uh, run it again. Mm -hmm. As you can see, well, the the um, the specification that we have is that it is not working fine. Ah, I, I guess that I see what is happening. I didn't save the file before. I'm sorry. Control S and then execute this again. And also, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and run this. I didn't save the file before, I'm sorry. So right now it should be executing only the retriability spec as you can see here. It is saying that it is using Electron 83 headless mode and we have only one spec uh, found, which is the retriability.spec.js file. And as you can see here, uh, well, the execution was completed. We have a, a passing assertion here and it is working fine. As a proof, it is actually recording a video and we can take a look of that. For example, we have folder here, which is retriability. And if I, and, and if I open this video, we're going to see the results and the execution over there. As you can see, well, the, the assertion passed and now I have the um, the message that it is passing in the console log. So, as you can see, all the specs uh, passed and now that's basically a very basic example of the Cypress run command. As you can see, the main difference is that well, the Cypress open opens a, a um, well, the, the, the test runner, right? However, run with the with the run command we can specify a particular set of um, scripts or only one as you can see here um, let me give you another example another possibility that that we can have let's imagine that i don't want to use the the electron web browser that cypress has in built let's say that i want to execute my script in google chrome so i'm gonna just copy this command which is gonna be pretty pretty similar right mm -hmm. It is going to be run Chrome. And the difference here is that I have to pass another parameter, which is browser. Pretty simple. And then specify which browser I want to execute. Now it is actually pointing to Chrome and we're going to have the, the same results, right? However, using Chrome or or that's what, I, what we can wait, right? Have Chrome working in headless mode or that's what I, I would expect, right? So let's go ahead and try to uh, execute this again. Cypress run Chrome. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clear the console lock and then run this new command. npm run Cypress run Chrome. And as you will see, we're gonna have a different behavior here because it is gonna open up an instance of of Google Chrome. <laughs> it is not gonna be executed in headless and I are gonna have the results. It is gonna be closed and all this stuff happens in the same way. 
just that I have the results locked in the console lock and it actually opens the Chrome instance and that's uh, something that I want to point because uh, if you want to specify that um, or, or let me give you this example let's imagine that you want to execute your script but in headless mode using Chrome we have to specify another parameter all right so let's go ahead and try to create another command so we have this for future references and I'm gonna come here run Chrome but headless mode headless mode all right and we have to alter this script we have to add another parameter which is headless and now I have the parameter correctly and we're gonna open this script we're gonna execute this script in Chrome in Chrome but using the headless mode so let's try to uh, run this again and see if it, if it is working correctly I'm gonna npm run this script <clears throat> let's see if it's if it's working correctly or not as you can see here in the console it is saying that actually we're executing Chrome 89 but in headless mode and then we have the results as expected and that's good I guess that that's another possibility that we have right we can execute the browsers with the Cypress run command um, and we can specify if we want to use the head or the headless version of that particular browser so uh, I think that uh, well this is a kind of easy but complicated thing to explain actually uh, but I hope that you get the idea please let me know in the comment section below if for any reason it is not or actually if uh, some of the concepts or the explanation wasn't clear and I'll try to uh, actually give you more context by uh, by the comment section I also wanted you wanted to you know what it wanted to let you know that I am creating a website right now where you're gonna be capable to um, have all these video index um, in a single website and all the information pretty soon so please wait for it thank you very much for watching the video this was young media and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye